Hi guys and welcome back to Scribe Gaming. Sorry it's been a while since my last video, I've had some stuff going on, been really busy. But I thought I'd do a quick video on showing you guys my counters to the current Galactic Legends. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so I thought we'd actually start with my counter to um, Galactic Legends Ray. You can see that this Galactic Legends Ray here does have the ultimate um, running resistance heroes GK and JKR. I would say this is not your typical counter, um, uh, not your typical uh, lineup, sorry, but it's certainly one you might see. Now, the uh, squad that I'm going to use here is probably one that you have seen before very straightforward to run and has a lot of tunes that I think most people will have if they're looking at that sort of end game um, roster. Um, you don't even need to have your own Galactic Legends to beat these of course. So we're going to go in with the Darth Revan lead, Geo Brood Alpha, Bastler Shan Fallen, Thrawn and Watt. Now uh, both of these uh, counters that I'll be running, one I'll show you for um, uh, Supreme Leader Kylo and one will be for um, Ray. Both of them use very similar lineups. Uh, Kylo is now harder after the new patch that he's gotten, but um, still manageable. So we start off with the weapons tech, we throw that on Darth Revan. Rey does her thing, and we just immediately get the mass fear off. Okay, now I've got my Thrawn pretty fast, he's faster than my Bastila Shan, and that's because I need him faster than Bastila Shan for the uh, Kylo um, counter. So as soon as you can, fracture Rey. After that, it gets a heck of a lot easier. Now, I, if they've got a, ta a taunter on there, I like to land shock so that they can't keep on taunting. You're then going to want to put the tank tech, which is this Bactoid shield generator, over on the brute. That way he'll recover 30% protection and you'll make sure that he's always taunting throughout the match. From here, just focus down on Ray. You want to try and get her into crit hit, um, uh, get her into damage immunity as soon as you possibly can. Do AoEs if you want. Spreading that shock, especially if they've got a ta taunting tank out there, is always very useful. Um, I like to, if I have the opportunity, and you get Bastler with her fear mechanic, I like to throw that over on Resistance Hero Finn if he's active. Bear in mind, Galactic Legends themselves cannot be feared, so don't waste it on targeting her. Corrupted Battle medita Meditation there actually stopped JKR from landing the Marked on, uh, on the Brute, which is actually where I'll put my, our last tech piece. So he recovers a little bit more hit points, helps keep the, um, the Brute alive. And, of course, as soon as you can, just land those uh, those mass fears. Okay, so Rey now has her ultimate fully charged, which won't be an issue for us because because of the way Rey's um, damage is dealt with her ultimate, it gets split evenly among the remaining characters. So the more characters you have on the field right now, like as right now we have six, the less damage she does overall. Um, inversely, of course, if you've only got two characters left, you're probably going to lose your whole squad. Um, so when it comes back to Thrawn's turn, you want to just turn me to swap with whoever has the most TM, because we want to cycle back round and get him into um, get it, get him to recycle Fracture as soon as possible, because Ray has incredibly fast speed. So here we'll just keep using basics. You could choose to spread this uh, damage around, but I don't think it's necessary at this point. She's also got death mark, so we can't really force the target. Okay, so she's now using her ultimate. Um, what I would say, try and get ability block on her if you can. Um, I'm not going to use my um, shock here because everyone else is already feared. So, in this scenario, you do not want to use fracture because it will waste. You won't actually land the fracture on Ray. We'll do the basic, and she'll probably get her ultimate off in any, any second. But, as you'll see, you will actually survive the attack. So let's go ahead and land another Mass Fear, and an attack. So Ray's going to hit her ultimate now, and everybody's fine, which is fantastic. So I'm just going to go ahead and spread that. I probably should have used the basic on Ray there to actually pass her, um, uh, give her ability block so she can't use her Whirlwind attack, but we've got Thrawn, and he's fractured her. At this point, it's kind of game over. Um, she's not going to survive the rest of this fracture, so just spread the damage, get as many critical, uh, trigger as much damage immunity as you can on all the characters, so that you don't waste time trying to clear them up. So we've seen Poe is now out of damage immunity, we can hit him. 
I think Revan has not been triggered yet, so we'll hit him. There we go, Revan's triggered. And we'll just keep swapping with Revan, I think. There we go. So everybody else is in damage immunity. As soon as they're off, we'll be able to uh, clear through. There goes uh, Resistance Hero Finn. So as you can see in this particular setup, you're in. At no point was any was I ever in any, any danger of losing a unit. There's very little RNG involved. Easy win. So what I'm going to show you next is um, is going to be my counter to um, Supreme Leader Kylo. Now hopefully I've got one within my range here, and we'll be able to just jump in and hit. Okay, we've got uh, this one here is in second place at the moment. So I'm going to do a quick cut now, and you can rejoin me when we get to that fight. Alright guys, so we're back into it. Now, Madam Katu, who I'm going to face off here, has got a pretty nasty uh, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren team. As you can see, she's using the full First Order lineup. She's got the double tank with crew and with First Order Stormtrooper. You've got Sith Trooper and you've got General Hux. They're all R7. Kylo's got his ultimate. Can't really get much of a harder test than this. So, the team we're using is almost exactly the same as the Ray counter, except instead of having Wat Tambor, we're going to have my man Han Solo in here. And that's simply because, with the new balancing that they gave to uh, Kylo Ren, um, the whole First Order team is incredibly hard-hitting, incredibly fast, and can't be crit. So we need something that gets out ahead of the turn meter train. Han Solo's our man for the job. So speeds that you'll need for this is all relative to your shard um, but the turn order you want is your Darth Revan going first then your Thrawn, then your Bastila, then your Geobrood Alpha. Han will always go first obviously because of shoots first. You target that on Hux so he can't be swapping turn meter to Kylo Ren and ruining your day. You will always lose your Geobrood uh, Brute sorry, off the bat but that's fine. The one part of RNG that comes into this game is when you hit the shock here. You have to land shock on both of the tanks. Make sure that your, Bas uh, your Darth Revan is relatively high in potency and that your Bastler Shan Fallen has got a Zeta to pass additional potency. So here we go. And there we go. We've got both of these shocks on both of the tanks. That means that they won't regain taunt when they lose it. So with Thrawn now, you have to pass turn meter over to Geobrood Alpha. There we go. And we're not going to summon in the Brute. Instead, we're going to cleanse all the debuffs with the first special. All the buffs, sorry. So as you'll see, they no longer have Taunt, which is perfect. Now we're on Bastila Shan's turn. You have to land Fear on Sith Trooper, because he can use the Form Up ability, I think it's called, and cleanse debuffs. So Fear him so he doesn't get that opportunity. Then we go ahead and Fracture Supreme Leader Kylo. You need to make sure that your Geo Brood Alpha has at least one more speed than half of Supreme Leader Kylo's speed. Otherwise, Kylo will take a second turn, and you will never get this going. So, from now, once you're in this position, the game is basically won. But what you want to do is laser focus on Supreme Leader Kylo, kill him as fast as possible. So, I use the first special with Han, then I use the second special to get a couple of buffs, and now we just start laying on the fear, really getting our claws into Supreme Leader Kylo. Ability block is superb. Make sure you land it. At this point, I will summon the uh, Brute back because it gives us additional DPS and it also makes sure that we have the opportunity to um, tank again. So I'll use the shock here, try to make sure that we get additional shocks on the board on those tanks, make sure that they don't get the opportunity to retaunt. And now we're just going to do more AoE, more fears, and when you're looking like this, you're in a pretty good position. So attack nobody else basically. Try to make sure that everybody's got fear as much as possible. So here, now we have lost the fracture on, on Supreme Leader Kylo. This is where it can get a little bit leery. Save that fear, try and get the ability block off on Kylo, and just focus into him. If we can kill him before he gets a turn, fantastic. If not, that's how it is. Let's just do the basics. Do we finish him off? We finish him off. Fantastic. Now from here, I would say make sure you kill Sith Trooper. But I'm going to land the AoE shock over here and try and target it on one of the tanks so that they'll reapply the shock. And then just focus in on 
uh, Sith Trooper because he's really still scary at this point. He can deal a lot of damage and he will do an additional attack every single time one of his allies dies. So try to make sure you take him out as quickly as possible. Uh, or you can fracture him with Thrawn. And now I'm not worried about him taking more turns. Alright, so at this point we can basically put it on auto. You've won the game, there's nothing really that can go wrong. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the long and short of it really, guys. Those are the two normal counters that I use, and the good thing about it is, you know, it uses a lot of characters that people will definitely have geared. Anybody that's in the sort of endgame position will most likely have, you know, a Darth Revan team, will most likely have Thrawn, and will most likely have Han Solo. Uh, the Ray counter with uh, Watt is not as common, I guess, as far as not everybody will have Watt, but you can use most of the same team for both counters, which I think is very, very useful, and it saves on you having to remod. So I hope this was useful to some of you guys. If it was, please give me a like, give me a subscribe, all that good jazz. Follow me on uh, on Twitter, there's a link on my page, and you'll see whenever I'm putting up new videos. Uh, as usual guys, thank you so much for coming to watch, hope you get some use out of this, and I'll catch you later on in the next video. Peace out guys.